Okay, uh, welcome back. A bit of an update on the King's 36 amp hour lithium battery pack. Um, that's it there. I've been using it to run the 45 litre fridge in the back of the ute for the last couple of weeks whilst being up the Cape. Uh, the original idea was that the SIG socket in the back of the ute would charge the 36 amp hour battery pack, which would then run the fridge. Uh, it has worked okay um, in some circumstances. Most of the time the SIG socket charging the battery pack tends to come loose and doesn't charge during the day while driving, uh, which has become a bit of an issue. So what I have been doing is charging the battery pack overnight and powering the fridge off the camper trailer um, and then putting it back during the day, a bit of a pain, but anyway, um, it is what it is. Now, I have actually killed the battery pack three times um, and one of the times I was able or to the first two times sorry I was able to power it or repower it through my AC DC charger in the camper trailer I've got a the alligator clips to Anderson plug that I just took the terminals off and hooked that up to the AC DC directly and then that was obviously powered up and then directly charged it through the Anderson as, as you can see here um, and that brought it back so I believe the uh, battery management BMS uh, probably shut the battery down and, and put it to sleep the normal SIG socket that I've been using wouldn't wake it back up so I was able to do ACDC um, I have killed it again and what I'm trying at the moment is I've disconnected my DC DC output from the camper trailer and connected it to the Anderson in Anderson output on the 36 amp hour battery pack I'm just gonna it's 100% it's dead so I'm just gonna put it back in the power box in the camper trailer I uh, keep got another few hours driving to do today um, and I'll give it a couple of hours I'll check it but at the moment you can see it's I've had it plugged in for a little bit but it was 100% dead when I plugged this in and now it's got one little light flashing hopefully in a couple of hours we'll have more than one but we'll see how we go um, let's get to it get back on the road and we'll check on this in a minute a bit it's getting late now but I did pull up to check the battery pack and it is fully charged so DC DC into the Anderson on that works and AC DC charging it through the Anderson works as well I reckon that's a pretty good hack if it does um, die you've got the option to do that sort of stuff as long as obviously your DC DC has the Anderson plugs on it as well I'll, I've just had an extension between mine too but yeah I'm going to jump back on the road and plug this back into the trailer so it can keep charging I've got a few hours to go before I get home so cheers <laughs> 